Today's lesson is on how to hit the perfect topspin forehand. Okay, we're going to have six checkpoints that you're going to have to remember to learn the perfect topspin forehand. Okay, let's go through the six. Number one is ready position. Okay, you're in your ready position. Let's just say I'm hitting the ball in that direction. I've got my Topspin Pro here to show you exactly what's happening. Okay, in the ready position, if you have your forehand grip, I want the grip to make the racket tilt this way. Okay, if you have a semi-western grip or even an eastern grip, the racket is going to tilt slightly down, okay? With Eastern, you may have to push it down a little bit. Semi-Western, it's gonna be down. Now, from the ready position, this is checkpoint number one. From here, the first move you're going to make, when you see a ball to your forehand side, turn the shoulders. Start turning the shoulders. As you turn, let the left hand come off, the racket for balance. Keep that left hand out there. Now you're going to have to make adjustments with your feet. You may have to move to the ball. You may have to run to the ball and then get to here. So <clears throat> checkpoint one, ready position. Checkpoint two is here. Make adjustments with your feet. Now checkpoint three is going to be below the ball. Remember, to hit topspin, you have to swing low to high. How low do you have to get the racket? About one foot below the contact point, okay? Here's my contact point, but this point can change. It could be here, it could be there, it could be lower than here, okay? So how much you drop the racket all depends on where the ball is, where you're making contact. That's the key. Wherever that point is, you've got to drop it down a foot below. Now, <clears throat> checkpoint one, right here. Checkpoint two, there. Checkpoint three, I'm going to come down a foot below the ball. Now, another thing you want to remember, when you get to that foot below the ball, the racket face should be closed. Okay, meaning it's facing down, okay? Now, if the racket is not down, you may hit a home run, okay? So you want that racket face facing down. So two things you got to remember at checkpoint three. The racket face is facing down, and it's one foot below the contact point, wherever you're going to hit the ball. Okay, checkpoint one. Checkpoint two, now I'm going to three. Checkpoint three, I'm a foot below the ball. The racket face is facing down. Now, if I swing up from my shoulder, this is the key. Don't play around with your lower arm and your wrist. Don't play around with that. Make your shoulder the hinge. As I come up, notice I've got a perfectly vertical racket here at contact. That's going to allow me to get the brush, to brush the ball. Okay, I'm making that ball spin forward. That's all top spin is. You make the ball spin forward. Why is that so good? Because when you get the ball spinning forward, you create air pressure on top of the ball. It's always pushing the ball down into the court and you can aim safely over the net, four or five feet, and the spin pulls it back down. All right, checkpoint one, checkpoint two, checkpoint three, checkpoint four is going to be here at the contact point. You've got to check your contact point. It's got to be vertical. It cannot be closed. It cannot be open. It's got to be vertical, moving, from low to high. Okay, checkpoint one, checkpoint two, checkpoint three, 
four, and now I'm going to give you the fifth checkpoint, which is because a lot of my students make a mistake here. When they think about topspin, they start swinging like this. They start going up too much. They get tons of spin, but they don't get any ball compression. And the shot is short or doesn't even reach the net or it ends up in the net. You have to hit through the shot so your racket's moving from low to high moving through that contact area. We're going to call the contact area an area of about right here from where my racket is to where my hand is. This is the contact area. Now watch, when I hit through this, my racket was there, I'm coming up, okay, I hit the ball. Now I've got to hit through the shot. I want to go through to at least here. Okay, you're not coming, don't go up like this too much. You're not going to get any ball compression. So hit through the shot, hit through it to at least here. Now once you get here, the ball is gone. But this is checkpoint five. I want you to get here and know that the racket is still moving from low to high and going out towards your target. It's moving from low to high and going out towards your target. Now, once you get here, the ball is gone. All you have to do to get to checkpoint six is do the windshield wiper motion and catch the racket over your left shoulder, if you're right-handed, all right? So catch that racket over your left shoulder. And that's a perfect topspin forehand. So <clears throat> checkpoint one, just to go over them again. Ready position, racket face is closed. Checkpoint two, turn the shoulders. Get that left hand out there for balance. Checkpoint three, drop the racket a foot below the ball with the racket face closed. If you're hitting the ball in the net, you're not getting the racket a foot below the ball. If you're hitting the ball long, you may not have the racket face closed here. Okay, so remember checkpoint three, I have students that hit many shots in the net and I tell them, hey, it's simply because you're not getting the racket below the contact point. And if they're hitting long, I remind them, make sure that that racket face is closed at the low point of the backswing. At checkpoint three, that racket's got to be closed. So now, as you come up, you're guaranteed vertical here. Closed here gives you vertical there. Then just simply hit through. So once again, one, two, we're going to go to three, four, hit through. Remember, here's five. I want you to hit through. Checkpoint five, hit through the shot and up. And then six, catch the racket with your non-hitting hand. So there you have it, the perfect topspin forehand. Now here's what I recommend. No, get those six points down. That's, those are the fundamentals that you need to get down. Once you get those down, you may have to focus on one, maybe two. I never want you to think of more than two at a time. So let's just say, you're getting tons of spin, but you're coming up like this. Your, your balls are landing short or they're, you know, hitting the net, okay? So you've got to focus on checkpoint five. You have to hit through. So once you, once you turn, you get set up, come down, hit through. Make sure you're hitting through the shot and not just coming up like this. If you're hitting in the net, you're not getting to checkpoint three. If you're hitting in the net, you're not getting the racket low enough. Remember, I've got to drop it down here. So 
you might start thinking of that, just checkpoint three. Or if you're getting too much spin, think of checkpoint five. But that's the way you're going to really get fundamentally sound stroke technique and the level of your game is going to rise. Okay, let's take a look in slow motion. Checkpoint one, in the ready position, forehand grip, racket face is closed. Moving on, checkpoint two, the shoulders have turned. The racket is back high. The left hand is out for balance. Moving on to checkpoint three. The racket is a foot below the contact point and the racket face is closed. Checkpoint four. The racket is vertical at contact, moving from low to high. Checkpoint five, the racket is still going out towards the intended target. And checkpoint six, catch the racket with the left hand over the shoulder. Okay, in slow motion, checkpoint one, ready position. Racket face closed with the forehand grip. Moving on to checkpoint two, as I move the feet into position. Boom, checkpoint two, the racket is back, the left hand is out for balance. Moving on to checkpoint three, the racket is a foot below the contact point and the racket face is closed. Checkpoint four, the racket is moving into the contact area, vertical. Checkpoint five, the racket is going out towards the target. And checkpoint six, catch the racket over the shoulder with the left hand. All the best. Any questions, please post them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, give me a like, and uh, hit that notification bell so you're notified of any future videos. All the best. Take care.